Okay, so for those of you who followed me from the time that we conceived the barn when it was nothing more than a shed until now, I'm gonna show you some changes. <sighs> some changes that we've made. Rosie, no ma'am, no ma'am. Some changes we've made to the barn to accommodate my 500 pound two year old here. My two year old. She, well, she's eight, but she acts like a two year old. First thing was I bought these little storage totes, these black storage totes. Um, I bought them for the express purpose of using a first, you know, to store feed in. I thought, you know, I could seal it in that. Seal it in that. Um, and what ended up happening was, is she ripped them open and threw feed everywhere, pooped on the bag, pooped on the feed. So that did not work. So now they will be nesting boxes whenever I have anybody ready to lay eggs. So I thought, okay, now what do I do? What, what am I gonna store this with? So I thought, oh, my little under chicky area. Great idea. Until I caught Rosie with her head. Literally, she ripped this off. Um, it's now pretty warped. So I did tack it back up somewhat, but she, she ripped it down and was in there eating feed. So I thought, okay, now what do I do? She literally um, has pulled these. My water source is like 500 feet away. So I have these uh, so that I don't have to run back and forth and feed, fill up the chicken feeders so much. So she actually ripped those off and stomp those. Then I have this thing, it's just a storage tote. She has busted through that so many times, I can't even tell you. I don't even know why, because there's literally nothing in there that would, you know, reward that for her. So then I found a piece of fencing that I had left over in an extra U post, and so I made this little contraption. Uh, it, she cannot get into it. It is very secure and it has all her hay and the feed and the bedding and her grooming supplies, which she also enjoys throwing all over my barn. So this is how I'm keeping Rosie out of things she should not be into. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but it works. Uh, on a side note, what are you doing, little girl? On a side note, this is uh, the Buff Orpington Buffy. And as you guys know, when I got Buffy, the little chick that was with her died. And so I went and got Mara another one. She doesn't want you touching her, honey. She's asleep. So I went and got Mara another Buff Orpington named Fluffy because her Fluffy died. And that's when I got Black Betty, John's uh, Black Jersey Giant. Now, this is Fluffy, who I got out of the pullet bin. Now, do you or anybody else think this is a pullet? I don't think so. I am once again stuck with yet another rooster. Like, I don't even know how this keeps happening, but yet I have another rooster. Let me see if he'll raise his face up. Fluffy. Fluffy. Yeah, that's not a girl. So, I'm stuck with yet another rooster. I don't really know what I'm going to do with him. I've already sent my cousin like four roosters, so I don't know, but I just thought I'd show you that little side note that I have again acquired a rooster for w unknown reasons and um, just show you some of the ways that I've had to accommodate because no matter what plan you have in your head, no matter how great or well laid out it is, animals will find a way to make you change it, whether you like it or not. Um, this is not how I wanted the barn to look, but I personally think, you know, for a little shed, this is not hideous. I mean, it could be way worse. Hi, Solomon. Hi. So, just wanted to show you guys. Love you. Hope you have a great day. Hopefully, um, I'll have more interesting content later <laughs> as, <laughs> as things progress. And hopefully, you'll get to see baby goats soon because I don't know about you guys, but that is my one thing I'm looking forward to the most. See you guys later. Have a great weekend. Love you.